Hello everyone, welcome back to this YouTube channel, The Immigration Gurus. Today we have Deepen Shah with us. Uh, he recently got his spouse open work permit approved and his wife, uh, Drishti, she also got her study visa approved uh, uh, last and she joined the last semester, correct? Yes, sir. Perfectly. Perfectly. She has joined her classes in May 2023 in tech. Yeah. So thank you so much, uh, Deepen, for uh, accepting my invitation and many congratulations to both of you for getting your visas. And hopefully you are going to join your wife very soon. So uh, let's discuss her story, your story, profile, everything uh, in detail in this video. So you can start That's sharing. Right. Your Actually, I want to convey my great thank you to you and your all TIG team to make our Canadian dream true. We have a great visa success rate in mature cases where the age is about 30, 35, even age 40 as well. There are so many students who have already got visa with this type of complex cases. So to apply with me, ping me on WhatsApp or call me on my number. Uh, as soon as we started planning for Canada, we have searched for PR inquiries. And just unfortunately, just the COVID strikes and all the world shuts down. So no applications was received and even no was uh, attempting to approve. So that's why uh, we got stuck in a situation like what to next do now, right? And actually, I am the third person who is receiving our Canadian visa from you because uh, the very first person, my brother-in-law, who applied and got his student visa from your side, so and he suggested us. Uh, his name is Arpan Shah. He is also in Nova Scotia and doing the same course. Great. Uh, he received his visa in September only. But due to some reasons, he uh, postponed and delayed his course to the January intake. Okay. Same CBU? Yeah, in CBU, same course. Great. Yeah. Great. Great. Then after that, we applied for my wife's student visa in the same university with you. And I'm the third person who is going to enter in Canada with the help of you. Thank you. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity. So now your brother-in-law is senior to your uh, sister, uh, your wife, sorry. No, no. She is, she is younger than my wife. Hmm. Uh, uh, he, he is younger, but now he is senior in, senior in CBU. Ah, he is in his third semester. Now, uh, by, by qualification, my wife is her junior now. <laughs> yeah, okay, great. So, what was uh, uh, the profile of your wife when she got her visa? Kya case town ka? And uh, whether she got visa in first attempt, how many refusals she got, her age, education experience, files. Can you explain all those things? Yes, why not? Uh, actually, by qualification, she has completed her MA B.A. Master of Arts and Bachelor of Education. Hmm. She was doing her teaching job for four years and just before the COVID. Hmm. And after that, she wants to switch her career in business area. Hmm. So she joined a, a recognized and renowned uh, one organization named Radha Jewelers in our small town as a sales assistant, sales executive. Hmm. And after that, uh, she she was uh, so confident that she can achieve more more aim in her life. So she uh, believed that we should join the business management course in CBU, yeah. and we can switch our career and uh, complete our aim. Yeah. So after uh, gaining almost eight years of experience, and the main reason we opted for CBU that uh, it allows the student to do the six months of internship in the two years course. Yeah. It is the main benefit for that. Uh, at the, at the yeah. last, there is internship. Yes. Co-op is there. Yes, sir. And uh, actually, we had so doubt tha because she has completed her studies in 2015. Hmm. So it is almost eight years of gap. So when, our, when we applied? Uh, sorry. Age kitna tha unka? Her age? Uh, she, she is 31. 31. Okay. 31 years. Yeah. She has completed her last studies in 2015. And we are again applying for student visa in 2023. Yeah. So we were in little doubt that whether we get our visa or not. 
but uh, it is all in your sop preparation that she got her visa yes everything was right so program i always say program was right so she hmm. was her latest experience was in uh, business management probably yeah exactly uh, said business so we applied for business management program so program was right then university is cbu it is a really good public university so university is right then sop documentation we take care of it it's not a concern so uh, we were on right track to get visa uh, how many refusals yes. she got uh, before her visa uh, actually she got two refusals because we are applying for january 2023 intake okay. so we uh, launch our file in december but unfortunately for that time we got refusal and then uh, as per your suggestion we applied for a second time but that was really a big mistake because at that time almost 90% of the cases are receiving refusals they are rejecting files like uh, they are cleaning up their uh, waste they got they sent us the refusal letter just within 15 days that time so the thought, campaign was higher ha ah, exactly so uh, in the fi- finally we uh, submitted our file third time in february only and after a wait of a month almost we received a student visa approved in march 2023 and she traveled for main tech yeah main tech okay and then we applied for you uh, when did we start your application uh, actually as soon as she landed there we have collected her documents which was required by you like her student id card her her bank statement and all that stuff uh, we collected the documents as soon as possible and uh, we lodged my file in june 2023 so after almost 2 months of gap the processing time we got our positive result and here i am with my work permit approved okay so this is related to timeline many people have concerns they ask me again and again why i am not getting the result there are two type of timelines i can't mm-hmm. judge who is going to get visa when you are going to get visa one kind of timeline is approximately 2 weeks another kind mm-hmm. of timeline is approximately 8 uh, weeks uh, so 2 months approximately yeah so exactly you can't judge for anyone that whether you are going to get visa in 2 weeks or 8 weeks so there are two mm-hmm. different timelines going on we can't do anything in that don't worry there is no issue with your file you will get your result you will get your visa definitely it's not a concern just wait for your result patiently no need to do anything no need to submit web forms and all it is not going to do anything so uh, this is my uh, request to everyone just stay patient with your file if your spouse visa application is taking time and don't book your tickets until unless you get get your visa because until unless uh-huh. your visa is uh, accepted it is not accepted so don't assume that you are going to get visa any visa can be refused don't book your uh, flights or leave your job right right mm-hmm. until unless you get your visa approved so this, this is my recommendation to everyone exactly uh, so uh, when are you trying or uh, uh, when are you going to travel uh, to canada uh, most probably after 15th of september because as i explained it is the september intake so many students are rushing for that so ticket price must be higher so i will more i will try to purchase a ticket around 19th of 20 september maybe great uh, and uh, uh, there were uh, news like uh, uh, people are facing issue in getting job near cbu in sydney city so how is the experience of drishti there in terms of job and accommodation so is she face, facing issue or has she faced uh, faced issues or everything is going fine no actually sydney is a small town yes that is true it is a small town not a big city like toronto or kitchener or any some, something else but uh, the people are boosting their problems like uh, they are saying that people are not getting accommodation or job yes you have to try twice or thrice for getting the job because uh, you have landed just before couple of days and people are already there who who have sub- submitted their resumes right so uh, they might be aware of their rules and their ethics over there and you are new so it may take some time 
but definitely you will get job like drashti started his job in subway using his sin number so it is quite possible she is getting 21 hours weekly okay and okay. moreover the gic is there to help her but uh, it will be completely in her savings account because uh, the survival job she uh, she has already taken that and she can spend that money for that for her living cost nothing else it's not like that even i even uh, sitting in india maine yahan se bhi canadian job bank mein uh, jobs ke liye apply kiya tha mera yahan pe jo profile hai uh, by qualification i have completed my master of engineering hmm. in ic engines and automobiles hmm. and i am working here as a automotive service technician in maruti suzuki hmm. so by using this experience i have applied there even in halifax they uh, the employers started looking forward to join me there but unfortunately uh, i cannot promise them that i will join from this date only because my uh, application was still in progress yeah. so if i was there with this qualification and experience i will certainly get a job yeah. but yeah it's true uh, that you are moving and shifting towards a new country you have to wait and you have to learn that uh, specific uh, habits yeah to get so you need to job. understand the culture you need to understand exactly the ways to apply you need to settle down a bit uh, uh, to know the system yes uh, uh, these things happens but there were so there was a really hype uh, created sometimes back that uh, sydney is facing so much of problem in terms of accommodation and job so i don't know whether it was right or wrong so that's why i was just confirming from you whether the issue is real or it is just the uh, just the rumors created uh, out of thin air so that's why i confirm from you even even i can share one more experience like as i have told my brother in law he joined cbu in january 2023 yeah. he got a job in atlantic superstore which is almost considered as a government job over there hmm. and and uh, in in his first vacation like that semester break Hmm. he shifted to halifax hmm. and that too they have con- they have conducted the inter inter transfer communication like uh, they shifted him to sydney to halifax for his job hmm. so that doesn't mean if you have if you don't have job you have to shift over there or if you have opted for a job uh, you should not leave the city like aap ek dus ek jagah se ek jagah se dusri jagah ja bhi sakte ho और वो लोग आपको इंटर ट्रांसफर भी करके देते हैं ओके ओके सो सो पॉसिबिलिटी दैट इज दैट इज पॉसिबल सो इन इन सेमेस्टर ब्रेक यू कैन वर्क फुल टाइम इन द सेम कंपनी इन सम अदर सिटी वेयर एवर यू वांट टू वर्क सो यस एग्जैक्टली ओके दैट इज ग्रेट सो ग्रेट 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 मेनी कांग्रेचुलेशंस टू यू दृष्टि एंड टू योर ब्रदर इन लॉ अर्पण and many congratulations yes. to all of you you are going to stay together uh, there happily and going to settle there yep. as well and let's hope so after the study you can move anywhere you want you can decide to stay in nova scotia only or you can decide to stay somewhere else so it's up to you how you want to no, no. basically we will always try to stay in nova scotia because we have seen main, many cases who has uh, their study permit for uh, ontario state specifically but they are shifting to nova scotia for getting pr because that it is as it is considered in atlantic provinces yeah. they are much liberal in providing the required documents and they are helping them the people who required uh, to achieve their pr so it is the very great opportunity and uh, with your reference and with your help only we have opted for nova scotia rather than going to any bigger state because it will be quite difficult for us even in terms of fees as well as the competition yeah. like waha pe fees bhi zyada hoti aur after after the 8 or 10 years of education gap waha pe cooperate or collaborate karna bhi thoda tough ho jata hamare liye no no most question is good cbu is good everything is perfectly fine so if you are getting part time job then you are getting full time job there so definitely it is going to be a good place i am also mm. living in a place where population is quite less it, i am in victoria so okay uh, i can relate to that that uh, you are going to have less population there opportunities uh, competition is going to be lesser compared to bigger cities because there exactly. even though the opportunities are 
more but students are even more so yeah. uh, that is one kind of issue uh, big cities face these days because there are so many uh, students uh, right now approaching maybe toronto gta area or similar cases there with vancouver as well so uh, that may not be there in halifax that that may not be there in uh, nova scotia so uh, definitely it is going to give you good opportunities and if you are getting job there with one year of experience probably you are going to get your pr so that can happen exactly there. and even as you have said earlier loko ne hype bana rakha hai ki job nahi milti but actually the thing is as being a student aapko 20 hours per week hi kaam kar sakte ho and they are looking for one uh, any uh, like the person who can work full time unko ek aisa banda chahiye ki jo लॉन्ग टाइम तक उनके साथ सर्व कर सके उनके लिए सो so, इसीलिए जॉब जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज कम हो जाती है अगर लाइक फॉर एन हमारा ही एग्जांपल लो मेरी वाइफ 20 इयर्स वर्क कर सकती है और मैं फुल टाइम वर्क करने के लिए एलिजिबल हूँ तो वो पहला प्रेफरेंस मुझे ही देगा ऑब्वियसली yeah. क्योंकि मैं टेक वहां पे उनको ज्यादा प्रोमिसिंग लगूंगा इवन बाय अप्लाइंग थ्रू जॉब जॉब बैंक पोर्टल आई केम अक्रॉस few Indian email IDs जो वहां पे उन्होंने सबमिट किए होते हैं लाइक मैं सर्च कर रहा था ऑटोमोटिव सर्विस टेक्नीशियन के लिए राइट हेलीफेक्स में प्रिसाइजली तो वहां पे एक मे बी पंजाबी बंदा था उनका ई मेल आई डी था तो उन्होंने तो ये भी बोला कि आप अगर यहाँ पे होते इन पर्सन तो हम कल ही आपका इंटरव्यू कंडक्ट करके आपको जॉब असाइन कर देते मतलब मीन्स ऐसा नहीं है कि जॉब नहीं है बट आपकी क्वालिफिकेशन आपका एक्सपीरियंस भी मैटर करता है yeah you, your job profile is really specific that's why most people are in sales operations these are generally kind of profiles business cash jobs uh, cash job is cashier uh, jobs so this type of job so if your profile is really specific and technical in that case job opportunities are more high exactly mm-hmm. great so uh, i wish you luck wish you uh, uh, i congratulate you for for to you and to you uh, to your entire family that thank you. you are going yes, to uh, reach canada i want to thank you and all the tij team for making this true and possible yeah, i will you. definitely recommend your to all my friends and family members who want to try to get their canadian visa thank you thank you so much for your recommendation and many congratulations okay. again uh, if you want to apply with me you can ping me on my whatsapp number 9812380882 i'll be happy to take care of your case thank you so much no everyone problem. thank you so much uh, depend for making this video with me uh, before proceeding just save the admission helpline and visa helpline numbers it can help you in uh, connecting with me or the visa team in future so just save these numbers thank you so much for watching this video till the end see you in next video